Yo, what's up guys? This is Felix from Giant Lifestyle. So in this video, I want to talk about just a few things that I've learned from going to the gym for two consecutive years of working out and being really committed to getting stronger and adding muscle. So I've had a gym membership since I was 15 or 16 that my family got from me, but I never was really committed to it until January of 2016. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing that I've learned very quickly is that diet and proper nutrition is everything. Obviously, I have still made progress and I'll put up some screenshots of you know where my current body is at and what it's looking like. I've still made progress uh, and have gotten stronger and added muscle in the past two years, but I feel like it, it is at a 10% of what it could be at. I know that if my nutrition was consistent because my nutrition isn't bad but it's just not consistent of what it should be and my diet was consistent I would have been making you know 10x the progress that I'm making right now so I still believe that you can gain muscle and gain strength with improper diet but it's at a super slow rate of speed the second thing is, you know, pre-workout is the only way. Now, I'm not addicted to pre-workout. I can work out without pre-workout. But, you know, the first six months of 2016, I didn't take pre-workout at all for any of my workouts. In a way, I didn't even know that it existed. I seen other people taking it, but I never took it. And the drastic change between, you know, my workouts with no pre-workout to my workouts with pre-workout, I feel like a totally different human. Um, and sometimes I don't even feel human because I am just, you know, that much more pumped and my workouts are just 10 times better with pre-workout. Whether it's a shitty brand of pre-workout or a great brand of pre-workout, I feel like working out with pre-workout is almost the only way. Yet I do feel like there could be a healthy balance of, you know, taking no pre-workout for a few months and then going back on it. Number three, you will not always have a great workout, but work out until you sweat. So sometimes I go into the gym and I'm like, you know, last week I was just able to squat X, X, and X. And then this week I'm back to, you know, 135 on the squat rack. And keep in mind, my squat is not very strong. When I first started working out, I was super weak. I couldn't even bench 25 on each side of the bench on the bench press. So, you know, now my bench is up to about 160 and I'm gaining slow progress. And like I said, I could have made way more progress if I had the proper nutrition. But, you know, you, you will not always have a great workout, but work out until you sweat. Meaning, just go the hardest you can and give it everything you got until you break a sweat. Even if you feel weak, if you leave that gym sweating profusely, it's... And doing knowing you've done the best you can then that's good enough and just hit that um, body part next week and keep showing up and keep doing what you got to do not every day is going to go the way you want but the best thing you can do is just give it all you got and do your best number four I always work legs and I see some people in the gym that I go to never work legs the only thing that I has have not exercised in the past two years of going to the gym is my core I could have definitely implemented more core and um, stuff like that because you know my body has been gaining a lot of muscle but when I take my shirt off you could see that I don't exercise core so I feel like core could help me improve my squat and I've read up on things where core is just like legs even though you don't have to it's good to implement them. Number five, I haven't told anybody, nobody in my family, none of my friends, I don't post it on social media that I go to the gym. I just go to the gym and, you know, slowly over these past two years, I've gotten compliments and questions like, hey, you look stronger, hey, you look bigger, have you been going to the gym? I've seen a TEDx talk that if you start telling people your goals and your ideas, you actually get a dopamine release that you've already done it and you've never really done it. So... Just keep your head down, put in the work, and let the results talk for themselves. Number six, lift with good form and not with your ego. A lot of people in the gym, and I'm sure you probably know if you're watching this video, they lift crazy amount of weight. For example, I seen some guy 
trying to squat like 500 pounds a few days ago and he couldn't do it but he was trying to do it and it just makes you look stupid for the past two years i would never have crazy amount of weight on the bar but i would do what i could do with good form and make progress slow progress is better than any progress and every single week and month I try and set some sort of goal that I'm working towards because if you have no goal and you have no roadmap, you have no idea what type of what you're trying to reach in the end. So, you know, those are just like five or six things that I've learned from going to the gym for the past two years. Going to the gym has been one of the greatest habits that I've introduced into my life. It is a great, you know, stress reliever. It's a great way to get your mind off anything as far as business or work. And it's just something that I really enjoy. I definitely want to make more progress in it, keep getting stronger, and keep adding a lot of muscle. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.